Hi guys and welcome to the latest TV review. Now what we have here today is a set of really nice earphones, they are in-ears as you can see, from the brand called Clear Tune Monitors, or for short, CTM, as you can see here. And the model of the earphone itself is called CE320. And um, this is the box, as you can see it. It says right on the box here, extra bass. And I was a little bit worried about that, that part. I was thinking, wow, this is going to be just for bass heads, but trust me, it's not. Wait for it, don't leave the video, I'll talk more about it in the sound uh, part of things. But let me quickly show you what's in the box here with them. First of all, of course, there are ear tips, the usual silicone tips that I'm currently using because these suit my ears, I quite like them. There are also three different sizes of memory foam tips and one adapter from 3.5 millimeters to 6.25. Also, as you can see, there is a nice and practical carry carrying bag for the earphones themselves. That's it basically. Very nice packaging, nothing to write home about. But uh, I wanted to talk a little bit more about the build itself, the ergonomics and the cable. And starting with the build, as you can see, these are made of plastic and it is transparent. So when you look through them, you can actually see the insides and all of the three balanced armature drivers. Yeah, these are triple drivers earphones. That means each of these have three different armature drivers inside creating sound. They're also quite lightweight and they're very slim when you look at their profile. And what this means is that you can actually fit them really nice inside of your ear. And at least in my experience, these earphones don't protrude from your ear. And I actually tested that by putting this in-ears in my ears, then putting a winter hat over them because most in-ears actually protrude a little bit if they are chunky or they're pointy towards left and right. So putting a winter hat over them is usually not, not possible without uh, actually losing uh, your fit. But with these, it was not a problem. They are sitting so nice and flat with my ear that I can actually just put anything over it and the fit stays good. And I suppose this might have to do with uh, the origin of clear tune monitors as a company, because as I uh, realized, they work with a lot of musicians that actually perform on stage, hence the name clear tune monitors. These are like monitoring earphones. And because I have some musician friends, I know that they really appreciate when fit is good and when earphones are not protruding too much because they don't want earphones to be uh, too tacky on stage. Okay, that would be all about earphones themselves. About cable a little bit, it is braided as you can see, but oddly enough, it doesn't tangle all that much. It, uh, it, it's, it rolls pretty nicely in my pockets and I'm usually able to untangle it very quickly. It's, it's just not one of these really messy tangly cables and you can probably see that it's just well behaved cable and that's it. So moving on to the most important thing and that sound quality. And as I mentioned before, just judging by this inscription here, extra bass, I was expecting a really bass head model, you know, with a huge thumping bass that's overwhelming. But it's really not the case. It really isn't. Now let me explain. There is an elevated bass presence. There is an emphasis on the bass region. I couldn't find any frequency response measurements about these in-ears anywhere, but from what I'm hearing, I'm guessing there is uh, like, you know, 
this type of response, just elevated baseline dropping slowly as you go to the higher frequencies. But from what I hear when I listen to these, it's really done with great skill and it's tuned greatly. Now let me explain. So let's start with that bass line. It's weighty, it's emphasized a little bit, and it's giving like healthy, beefy, bassy undertone to everything. And that's great. But going upward, like mid-bass region, is not bloated in any way. It's not overwhelming and it's not muddying mid-range. And that's something really great. Uh, th that's like a deal breaker to me, but it's not happening here because bass line is quick, it's agile, it has a lot of rhythmic skills, you know. If there is a quick bass firing in the song, you will hear it. So it's just elevated in terms of volume, but it's not uh, spilling everywhere around and like ruining clarity of everything else. And going to the mid-range part, there's a really nice fullness and weight going on there too. And um, I was happy to hear that because listening to some of my favorite vocals, such as Leonard Cohen or Nora Jones, th they sound really nice and really, uh, they have a, a lot of body with these in-ears. Uh, now, going even higher, there is an interesting, really interesting tuning. There is no elevated upper mid-range. That's something that's so common these days. Um, earphones that have a dip in the lower mid-range and then elevated higher mid-range and higher frequencies and that's not happening here. So there is no a hint of harshness or cloiness um, or excessive sharpness going on here. But don't get me wrong here, that doesn't mean they're not detailed because they are, they really are. It's just that presentation of those details is a little bit different. Instead of throwing them to your face, like many other in-ears do, and making them jump at you, elevating that presence part, that uh, transience part, these are actually like taking a step back. And you still hear those details. They just took a step back they sound a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more laid back, but you don't actually miss details. Because, you know, real details actually come from speed, from agility, from time domain, domain the, the ability to have good resolution, and these do have that. Those type of emphasis that's going on when that presence upper mid-range region is emphasized it's actually just taking those small details and throwing them closer to you, throwing them into your face so you can notice them more easily. But here everything is like nicely blended and I quite like this approach, I must say that. And when it comes to space, it's quite decent width of the soundstage and really a reasonable impression of depth. Uh, there's really decent layering going on and I always feel that all of the instruments are nicely separated and um, there's nice stone timber to everything. There's nice stone decay that I can hear. It's just that everything you hear, it's a little bit sweetened by this elevated bass region. And it's not a lot really. It's... Um, Everything I listen to these, I feel it's really detailed, but pleasantly warm and cozy. It's a little bit like visiting your parents for holidays and having a slice of that warm apple pie with cinnamon. You know, it's just so warm and sweet. And who doesn't like apple pie with cinnamon? Are you nuts? Okay, but I, I really digressed here. 
um, I just wanted to explain that it's a good type of warm and it's a good type of sweet. And it's not the kind that's overblown, that's just muddying everything and covering all the details. It's just a really well-measured, well-tuned approach of giving some extra oomph to the bass, but not overdoing it. And it really works nice. Now, just to give you a little bit more insight in what I'm talking about here, um, for example, I'm using these in-ears lately. It's a Kinera Freya. And you might have already seen this, this review. I did it uh, some time ago and I loved these. I said they have that type of warmish sound signature that comes from slightly elevated mid bass that's giving nice fullness to, to the mid range. But when compared to these, you actually realize that the mid bass is slightly muddy and it's not as rhythmic, as well controlled as on these CTMs. And when you go even higher, these do have that slight emphasis that's so common these days in the higher mid-range. And even though when I listen to them alone or when I compare them to so many in-ears on the market, I would never notice that in comparison with these CTMs, they do sound a little bit thin in the upper mid-range because of that elevation going on there, while these sound a little bit more laid back, a little bit fuller, and um, instead of emphasizing, I don't know, little husky details from the vocals, they actually emphasize the full bodiness of the tone and the tone timbre and such. And I don't know if that's your thing, it might be, it might not be, but it's interesting because most of the earphones on the market nowadays actually lean towards that analytical and artificially sharpened sound. That does not happen here. These are simply sweet sounding, slightly laid back, but they do not sacrifice details to achieve that. They do not sacrifice good layering, good sense of soundstage depth, and just everything sounds neat, well-organized, detailed enough, but still very enjoyable to listen to. And just before I started filming this video, I uh, thought I'll give them one last spin. And I connected them here to this DAC amp, I started listening my favorite songs and I actually got caught into it. I, I just ended up listening uh, music for an hour. And then I thought to myself, wait, what are you doing? You didn't sit here to just listen to the music and enjoy it. You actually just wanted to confirm for one last time your impressions. But that's the power of this kind of tuning. And that's why I compared it to apple pie with cinnamon. It's just so good. I don't care if it's healthy or if it's neutral. And if everything that I'm saying about their sound quality is clicking well with you and with your idea of what good sound should be, then I see no reason to not give these a try. Aside from the great sound quality, I didn't find any reason to complain about these. The build quality, it's just normal, it's good. They're plastic, it's not some exotic material. It's, uh, they're not aiming to give you some bragging rights. But in terms of practicality and real use, they're lightweight, they fit well, they have this slim profile, which is really important for some use case scenarios. And in the end, these are just good all round in-ears that I can easily recommend to a lot of people. I don't know about you, but most of my friends actually prefer this kind of 
laid back and slightly sweeter sound to analytical and grabby sound. And for once, I would really like to see more brands, more models, at least trying this approach and making it as good as CTM is doing it. That would be all for today, guys. Now, if you like this video, please click like and share it with your friends. That would really help this channel grow. Also, click subscribe so you don't miss any future reviews on this channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.